Revelation 10, 1, 4, ESV. Then I saw another mighty angel coming down from heaven, wrapped in a cloud, with a rainbow over his head, and his face was like the sun, and his legs like pillars of fire. He had a little scroll open in his hand, and he set his right foot on the sea and his left foot on the land, and called out with a loud voice like a lion roaring. When he called out, the seven thunders sounded, and when the seven thunders had sounded, I was about to write. But I heard a voice from heaven saying, Seal up what the seven thunders have said, and do not write it down. This passage opens with a description of a majestic angel, wrapped in a cloud with a rainbow over his head, an image that evokes the splendor and glory of God. The symbolism of the sea and land underlines the angel's authority over all creation, and his loud voice, reminiscent of a lion's roar, signifies power and proclamation. The little scroll in the angel's hand is likely a continuation of the unfolding prophetic narrative found in earlier chapters of Revelation. This scroll may represent the Word of God, a divine message, or a revelation of God's plan for the culmination of history. The act of the angel's foot on the sea and land suggests the scope and authority of the message, reaching all corners of the earth. The mention of the seven thunders introduces a mysterious element. In biblical symbolism, the number seven often signifies completeness or perfection. However, the specific content of the thunders is not revealed, emphasizing the divine mystery that shrouds certain aspects of God's plan. As we reflect on this passage, let us ponder the awe-inspiring nature of the angel, the significance of the little scroll, and the mystery encapsulated in the seven thunders. May it encourages us to trust in the sovereignty of God and to approach His word with reverence and humility, knowing that His divine plan unfolds with purpose and perfection. This is the end of this episode. Follow for more content.